Hey guys, I'm Steve from Trim That Weed, and welcome to our review of the best vegetables to grow in pots. You'll find the links to the products in the description, and you can use the links to check the latest prices and other user reviews. Make sure to watch until the end to know our final verdict on which vegetables are best to grow in pots. Tomatoes. Most people know that it's very easy to grow tomatoes in pots. They're beautiful and delicious, and one of the best loved veggies although technically a fruit, and an ideal potted plant you can grow at home. Tomatoes tend to be one of the most productive potted plants you can grow because you can harvest about 10 pounds in a season. Tomatoes need a lot of sunlight, about 5-6 to six hours minimum, and regular watering, so it's best to place them next to a window or on the roof terrace. Tomatoes don't like cold weather, and they can't survive through a frost, so avoid putting them out too soon, especially if there's a frost risk. Tomatoes come in two types, determinate and indeterminate. Generally, the determinate variety is the best type of tomatoes to grow in pots because they aren't very large, and you're supposed to harvest them all at once. The cherry tomatoes can give you a very high yield. The indeterminate variety is very large tomatoes that will need a big container, since they can even grow to reach 6 feet. When planting tomato seedlings, you'll need to remove the seed leaves and the first set of true leaves. Then place the bottom half of the seedling in the ground and plant it much deeper than other plants. Green Beans most beans are either the bushy type or climbers, and they all grow upwards. The bushy bean variety can grow happily in a pot without any support, while the climbing variety will need to grow them on a trellis near a wall, fence, or a vertical space where they can run across. The porch pick is a small, neat, and compact bushy bean variety that can grow in small spaces. These beans are tender, crispy, and sweet. They love the sun, and you can harvest them after 55 days. The Scarlet Runner is a very colorful plant that produces small, delicious, red, and heart-shaped flowers and nutty beans. They grow vertically in small spaces and can be continually picked, which makes them perfect for potting near your kitchen. They're ready for picking after 60 to 70 days, and you can eat both the beans and the pods. Lettuce Lettuce grows very quickly, and you can harvest it many times throughout the growing season. Since it's a cool season plant, you'll need to know the right time to plant it, but usually, the seeds are planted in the spring, but if you live in a warm climate, you should grow your lettuce in winter. Growing your lettuce in a container will make it easier to control weeds and pests than when planting them in the ground. Lettuce doesn't need as much sun as other veggies. You'll need a wide container that is about 6 inches deep. Leave 4 inches of space between each plant, and make sure you use deep draining soil and water frequently. Lettuce needs plenty of moist soil, and the containers dry out faster than soil in the ground. Peas Peas thrive in moderate conditions which makes them perfect for container growing and don't need a large pot or a lot of attention to grow. There are three types of peas, sugar snap peas, snow peas, and English peas. You can plant peas in early spring and again in the fall, and depending on the variety you're growing, some peas will need some support. Ensure that the soil is always slightly moist. Radishes Radishes grow very easily, which makes them perfect for container gardening, and you can plant them in small and wide pots. They grow fast in hot weather, but you can control that by moving the plant into a shady area or water it to cool it down. There are many varieties of radishes, so you can select the seeds based on flavor and appearance. You need a container that is 6 inches deep or 10 inches, depending on the variety, and space 3 inches between each plant. Water regularly, and you can harvest within a month. Chilies and peppers. These are very productive and perfect for container growing. They're very attractive in pots and only need a warm and sunny place good drainage, and consistent watering to thrive. However, avoid dry or overly wet soil, which is bad for peppers, as they don't like standing water. Each pot should be at least 12 inches deep and provide the plant with 8-10 to 10 hours of sunlight for optimum growth. There are many veggies you can grow in containers that will produce a good yield and they don't require a lot of attention or space. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know which products you would like us to compare next.